Another most Googled question around love is what is an open relationship? Oh, wow. Well, hi there, everybody. Welcome back. I am Mamrie. And I'm Grace. And today we are talking about something that is very Precious and private, it's your search history. Woof. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, why is that? That's like your place you're most vulnerable. Your phone is more personal than like a diary. Yeah, it's I guess where you're admitting that you don't know something. Or what you're interested in that's a little embarrassing. Yeah, because there's that, I think, very universal, like crippling panic when someone goes, can I borrow your phone? Fight or flight. Yeah. Like I immediately go, what's on there? How do I leave the country? <laughs> Am I okay abandoning everyone that's important in my life? How do I start a new life? How quickly can I get a witness protection passport? Do you have your phone handy? Oh, I do. But let's do see. you want to see? What I'm going to see like what pages I have up on Safari, and I have not checked this yet. Oh, I have Sky Lodge Adventure Suites up. I was looking at this crazy hotel in Peru this morning. I have four pages up. Okay. One of them is discovering a local taco night. I have two <laughs> gifts of myself. And I just looked up Chinese crested dogs and it's just Google images of Chinese crested dogs. Well, my last Google um, search is um, Richard Simmons' foot gets ran over by car. <laughs> That's it's a, a great video. So Richard Simmons is leaving uh, a workout and he's paparazzi uh, on camera in a parking lot and literally a car runs over his foot while he's saying goodbye to people and he has a very Richard Simmons reaction to it. He's, I don't want to spoil it. He's very polite about it. But here's the deal. Uh, we're not the only people, obviously, that are protective over our search histories or that have a very colorful search history. There's a lot of questions that get asked out there. In fact, we found some of the most commonly Googled questions, and we figured, you guys don't have to Google these anymore. No, we'll give you all the answers. We have all of the answers, and we're gonna answer them for you right now. But first, this is funny, here's a fun fact on here. In 1996, Google was originally named Backrub. What? I had no idea. I think this isn't false information. Is that true? <gasps> Was it, how, do, how does no one know that? Because it's gross and pervy? Back rub? <laughs> Let me back rub the answer for you. Ew! <laughs> we found some of your most Googled questions and we thought we'd give you our obvious answers. Here are some of the love-related most Google questions. The first one is how to make long-distance relationships work. Someone go that's this a is, commonly Googled question? This is the most love-related search question in 2017. Oh my gosh, that's, I don't know, that like, <laughs> that like breaks my heart. Also, because of the rise in popularity of that show Catfish, uh. I feel like everyone's a little on guard about long distance relationships. You know what I say, don't hmm. be Googling that question. Google some cheap flights, make it work. You need in person time. Yeah, there you go. Another most Googled question around love is what is an open relationship? Oh. Wow. You know, you know what is actually being Googled? Am I being cheated on and should I just like be okay with it? Or, <laughs> or am I cheating on the person I'm with? Oh, good call. Like right. how do I rationalize this like modern take on this relationship right. when my girlfriend finds out? I'm not a perv, I'm just progressive. <laughs> That's my uh, Real Housewives tagline. I'm not a perv, I'm progressive. <laughs> yep. Oh, here's a general one. The fourth most Googled question is how to tie a tie. Oh. Do you know how to tie a tie? No. Oh. no idea. I know how to tie a tie. Prove it. Well, I don't know if I remember. I worked at Olive Garden. Oh. I have worked at an establishment with a tie and it was a seafood restaurant. You'd come drink at my bar. And so it was a, a tie with crabs all over it. So, which is really fun to be a female bartender and wearing something with crabs on it. <laughs> yeah. I never got jokes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there, look. This is oh, our... wow, I blanked out for a second. <laughs> I was blinded by rage, and then you made a tie. This is not the right way to tie a tie. That's but pretty this is, good, though. It's You can fake it enough. You, you can manipulate like, it like enough. Like a teen emo kid. Yeah, like a little. little... raised by a single mother. <laughs> I look like a really <laughs> shitty Avril Lavigne cosplay right now. I think you look kind of cool. Thank you. This is my, also like Hermione cosplay. Yeah. Guys. Lots of worlds. I mean, people are going to be back rubbing pics of this all the time. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you brought it upon yourself. There's two very, very different, but very um, searched questions. One is how to kiss a girl. 
What? And another one is, why is my poop green? <laughs> <laughs> Humans, you guys, we all have the same problems. Wow, yeah. how to kiss a girl? How to kiss a girl and uh, why is my poop green? Okay, uh, what to do when you're bored is the 135th most asked question. These are things I think you have answers to, though. Yeah. What do you do when you're bored? I think that's a fair. I guess go look at your weird poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, okay, but here's one that actually we can actually help you out with. You don't have to Google it. We okay. have the answer for you right here. It's the third most overall search question. Okay. How to register to vote. Ah. Uh. It's easy, rockthevote.org, wherever you wanna go. We'll put some links below because mm -hmm. I need you youngsters voting. You gotta get out there and do it. I'm actually glad that people are looking up yeah. how to do it. That's Me actually too. a little like inspiring, but we have all the links for you down in the description box below. This wasn't just a weird way you to get to You telling people vote. to vote while you're wearing that tie makes it seem like you're running for class president. Yeah. <laughs> and there'll be soda in the water fountain. <laughs> Mae Marie, who do we have a gratitude problem with today? But today we got a real problem with Nax Street. Uh, she did this adorable drawing and Aww. said, I felt like drawing, so I thought I might as well make it for Grace and Mae Marie's new show, which I'm really enjoying, BT Dev. Aw, thank you for the very genuinely supportive comment and this beautiful, beautiful piece of art. If you want to be featured in an upcoming segment of Gratitude Problem, tag us in Instagram photos, videos, Twitter comments, songs, dances, anything that you want that is genuinely supportive of the show. Yeah, we want compliments. <laughs> and also, we want you to subscribe. So hit the button, turn on your notifications, and keep watching us every day, Monday through Friday. We'll be right here. The only dependable thing in your life.